Welcome to another Group Iron Man episode, episode number 40. I am standing here at the Barbarian Fishing Spot because as you can see here on the counter, I have AFK'd 900,000 fishing experience and I am now 78 fishing. The reason why I had to do this is because I had to render a massive video that took 30 hours to render and I couldn't really do anything except fishing. But now it is time for something different and we are going to catch some eclectic implings and I have something to show you guys on the Archaeo spellbook. So normally I would use the Entangle spell whenever I wanted to catch the eclectic implings but sometimes they do this. And when this happens it's really annoying but on the Archaeo spellbook there is the Dark Lure spell. And this actually stops your target from fleeing and it also attracts them towards you. So look at this, if it flies away I do that and I splash. That is very unfortunate, usually I do not splash, but uh, if we wait a bit it has a short cooldown, we can use it again, and here we go, this is not going to splash, and it is actually dragging the Eclectic Impling towards me, so if it spawns on the other side, like I was showing in the last episode, I can just use this on it, and I don't have to go through or anything, let's see if we miss this one, okay, we're going, doing good now. It's also very cheap on runes, I think the normal entangle spell costs like 4 nature runes and a bunch of other runes, but this one only costs 1 nature rune and 1 death rune, so it is very cheap to use. So it has been a while and I have caught just over 500 eclectic implings, which on drop rate would be 25 mediums, of course we can get more or less than that, but we will have to see how many I get. Also I'm going to be building as many of the stash units as I can, because having all these items in my bank is... Uh, taking up a lot of bank space, when I'm actually pretty close to having a full bank. I just randomly found like all the Lumbridge NPCs they've put and my arm here as well outside of the dual arena. It has to be because of some update, right? But um, my arm running, cookout competition if you want to take part, talk to Hassan in a Big Palace. Interesting. Oh, I see what it is. So it's the ninth birthday of Old School RuneScape, I assume. You can see the event icon on the minimap right there, the small present. I'm not going to do that right now, or I guess I can accept it, but uh, I'm not going to do it right now. I want to complete the medium clue scrolls. How do I not have a soundtrack for a medium clue scroll requirement? Cave of Beasts is actually in the Mountain Daughter quest line. And I have not done that. It is a pretty fast quest and I feel like I don't want to drop any clue scrolls if I can easily do the requirements, so I guess we are going to do Mountain Daughter. Easy enough, Mountain Daughter completed, 244 quest points and we now have the soundtrack. Actually the first stash unit I have to build, it's very easy, just saw hammer, two oak planks and some nails, let's build it. And now we can put these items in, some nice construction experience, 250, that's not bad actually for a medium one. I wonder if it's more for like the elite and master ones, I would assume it's kind of the same. But um, yeah, now I can put these in after I've done the step. Last time I got unlucky with how many clues I got, this time I was almost exactly on the rate. I got one more casket than I should have, so that is very nice, and it is time to open all of them. Before we start opening, I have a total of 5 obtained items from the medium clue scroll unique table and any of the boots would be really good. I think second to that I would love some uh, miters, some cloaks, maybe some of the god pages would be the second best items. But here we are with the 26 caskets to open, let's see what we are going to get. I'm going to go through them kind of fast with uh, some banking in the middle. But let's begin the opening. And the first one is a collection log item, Hosidio's banner, not too interesting, swordfish, and some runes. At the first page, Samurai page 2, I'm not sure how good the Samurai pages are, but uh, I don't think any of the books are really that interesting. Gothic's page. Oh, there we go, Armadillo cloak, that is a prayer giving item, that's why it's worth 18k. Never mind, it's worth nothing. Uh, that is unfortunate, but it looks pretty good. Let's continue opening. 20 left that is an adamant sword and a battle axe another page and some teleports oh my god master scroll book empty on a medium clue scroll i feel like that's really rare i need to look that up well it was definitely more rare than ranger boots one in 750 so that is uh, quite unfortunate but it is what it is it's nice to get them anyways we only have two of them now we had one before and i actually think i got the other one as well so we now have two overall as a team. Let's keep opening. Adamant plate body, another page, and a blessing. I, I think we actually already have a bunch of blessings, so we don't really care too much about those. 
And uh, is this a collection item? Oh, Mithril Fulham G. Interesting. And some bad ones. A Master Clue Scroll from a Medium. I don't know if I will be able to complete this, but I'm definitely kind of in a spot where I could be able to. So I'm going to try to do that after this, but I have to bank again. I actually looked at the first step here. I need Iban Staff, which I have. Mystic Robe, Top Dark, and Bottoms. I don't know really. Do I have that? Mystic, Mystic. Oh, I do have them. So I actually can complete the first step. Interesting. But uh, we have less than 10 left. Let's get those Ranger Boots on the last ones here. Oh my god, this is a stacked Clue Scroll. Another Ancient Miter is actually really good. As I said last time I opened Medium Clue Scrolls, we can actually use that for the uh, kill count on the next room before we do next. And uh, another... Oh my god, so many... Uh, so many uniques in this one. War Blessing, Gnomish Firelighter, and Armador Cloak. I think I already got Armador Cloak. Yes, I did. So that is a duplicate. Seven more to go. Not a very good one. Bandos Crozier, even more uh, collection log items. After this, I'm going to be uh, having so many more collection log items unlocked from five. That's a pretty bad one. A page. We still have three. We can still get Ranger Boots. Boater. And another Miter. Actually getting so many uniques. I can just imagine all the people hunting Clue Scrolls and they actually do get kind of jealous right now. But uh, let's see what the last one is. Ranger Boots on the last one, please. And it is not. It's a duplicate Gnomish Firelighter. Let's bank everything and pick the things off the ground. And let's have a look. I went from five collection logs unlocked in the medium tab all the way up to how many? Let's go to clues. Medium, 13. That's pretty good. I would say eight uniques in 26 clue scrolls. It's, I actually thought I would get more than that. But uh, look at the miters. We have two ancients. We have two armadillo cloaks. Another Bandos Miter and Samurai Miter. Do we only... we only miss... oh well, we miss three. Armado Miter, Sarado Miter and Gothic's Miter. But yeah, pretty good opening I would say. Oh man, step number four of the Master. We have to talk to Sherlock. This is where it's all going to end. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's not too bad. Catch an Anglerfish. Are you kidding me? What is the fishing requirement for that? It's 80 plus, right? Uh, is it on rod maybe? Yeah, 82. I mean, I am pretty close to that. Can't I Admiral Pi boost for that or something? Let me check. I might be able to do this. Didn't even notice, but also I needed the full angler's outfit. Good thing I got that kind of recently. And here we go. This is the Admiral Pi. Let's eat. And look at that. We can now fish the angler fish and complete the challenge. Hopefully it doesn't take like 10 minutes to catch one. Gnome Child Puzzle, and it actually could be the last step. I'm on step number 7 now, and it's 6 to 9 steps on a Master Clue Scroll. And it is! Oh my god! I now have my first Master Casket for the account, so let's teleport back and open this. Of course, we're going to activate the Mimic. I want the chance of a Mimic boss fight. Let's do that. And let's see what the Master Clue Scroll is going to give us. Imagine Bloodhound or Third Age on the first one. And we get absolutely terrible! Items. Oh my god, this is all duplicates. We have these already in the Unholy Blessing. Piscator's Teleport. That is probably the worst first master you could see. But it is now time after that for my Chaos Fanatic kills. I am at 750 kills, still no Odium Shard, and I need three of them. So we're going to go for 250 kills this video and end up at 1000 kill count. Let's see if this is going to be the time I get my Odium Shard. Well... There it is, that is kill count 900, so we're 150 kills in. Still no drop at all really, nothing too interesting, but uh, 100 to go, anything can happen, I have my hopes up still. You know, at this point, this is just funny to me, 97 ranged, I've got 619,000 ranged experience in the last two videos on this boss, and every kill is 900 ranged experience. So overall, I've soon got 900k ranged experience from only the Chaos Fanatic. I feel like I'm going to hit 99 range before completing this boss. You know, this guy right here, Group Iron Man Man Stunt, he just told me to maybe just try to get the drop, and when he said that, I just realized, I haven't talked to Oziac, and that means you can't actually get the drop. That's just how it goes in RuneScape, so I have to go and do that, and maybe on the last, like, 39 kills, I am going to get it. We are taking all needed precautions, this guy right here has the holy water he needs to throw on me to cleanse me from my corruption. First we are talking to Oziark, and uh, I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, 
I'm not your friend, I think that's the one. And now that is done, it is time to cleanse myself by the priest of God's glory. He is going to throw some holy water at me. He is level 100, so we actually have to go deeper in the wilderness and get this done. We have arrived at the point. It is now time for me to be cleansed. It is time. Go ahead, priest. I am now cleansed. And he has a skull above his head to show that. It is time to get the Odium Shard, boys. 998 KC. I got Steel Arrows. That is on the rare drop table. I do not have a Ring of Wealth on. That's a 1 in 2000. 1 in 2000. Odium Shard is 1 in 256. <laughs> Actually going to look pretty good in the chat. This is going to be kill number 1000. The four digit number. Still no Odium Shard. I feel like I have to kind of show my collection log every time because I feel like this is just unrealistic. Like 1000 kills, 2 pets, 3 Malediction Shards. I'm actually unlucky on the Malediction Shards as well. I'm on the drop rate for having 1 pet, so I'm lucky on that. And of course the Odium Shard. I am now 4 times the drop rate. Let's see if we can get 2k with that one. Actually, something that's really cool is that you can now teleport to your group members' houses very easily. If you right-click on the teleport to house on a group Iron Man, you can choose what member you want to go to. And right now, Dark World Order is online, and I can teleport inside of his house. And that is it. I don't have to go outside. I don't have to go anywhere. I can just teleport right to his house. And look at this absolute insane house. He's been building this recently. And we're all going to be able to use this, so it's really going to be good for the team. Pokemon Blue versus Pokemon Red. Which one is the best one? It is looking like Red is winning right now. This is some intense gameplay right here. Oh my god, Blue is getting shredded. This is not looking good. So two things I quickly want to talk about. The first thing is that they increase the group Iron Man storage size. If you have some achievements done, you can see all the ones here. And it says like slots 2. So if someone in the team with 99 agility goes into the group storage, two slots are added. And there's a bunch of achievements. You can see like this one have um, a combat level of 100 gives three slots. And of course we have that. And when someone gets 126 and goes into the group storage, we get three more slots. Currently we have 135 out of 200 extra slots unlocked. Or overall, maybe I'm not sure, but um, this is what our storage looks like right now. So we have some extra spaces down here, which is really nice. The second thing I want to talk about is that we currently have 462 Solra scales, and that is literally all the scales we have. And we do want to use the blowpipe and the serpentine helmet now and then for different activities. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get to 76 agility. I know you can basically summer pie boost, but I don't think we really have many summer pies. Summer, oh, I have one, and I think most of the team do not have any of them. So I'm going to have to get to 76 agility, which is going to be quite a grind. But uh, it is to use the Solra shortcut, so I can teleport really close to it, and then I have to jump an obstacle that requires 76 agility to do. And I can get there really fast whenever I want to. Not only do I have over a thousand Chaos Fanatic kills, but I also have over a thousand runs on the Series of Village course. And I wanted to do this because it is a lot of Marks of Grace, and that is 74 agility, two more levels to go. And just this level I got 37 marks, so overall I should get like a hundred, and that is going to be a lot of stamina potions. Which is of course good for the team, we always need more of those. I'm actually very close to done with agility, but we're going to take a quick detour. We actually finally got some group bossing going, so we're going to go Dark World Order, Dog and I, to Bandos. Hopefully get something good. We basically still need everything. We only have three hilts, and we have three Bandos boots, or four maybe even, I'm not sure. But none of the armor pieces, so let's see if we can manage to get any of them. <laughs> easy clap. <laughs> very easy. Where the tank starts oh! coming oh. <laughs> It is a drop, but uh, yeah. Wait, do we need that? Uh, probably not, but we're a couple <sighs> kills in to see something is, uh, yeah. you know, it's pretty sweet. What? How is that broadcasted? <laughs> <'Cause> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I left, you know, remember that time we put our broadcast on, um... Yeah, for the clues. For oh, the clues. no. <laughs> I've, I've never changed it. Like, it's I was like, we I... got something. Oh, it's the resource. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Last kill. Has to be something here. 
Oh my god. It's a oh god. <laughs> And that was about it. We did not really get anything too interesting. We did like 50 kills overall, but this is 1,460 laps on the agility course for 76 agility. And uh, I have a lot of marks of grace right now, which is going to be super good for stamina potions. So let's go and buy some amylite crystals for those. So let us go ahead and buy 14 of the packs. That should be quite a lot of stamina potions. Honestly, I've never made stamina potions, so I'm not sure how this actually works, how many stamina pots this is. But I can imagine 140 marks of grace is going to be a lot of stamina potions. So now instead of having to take the ship, we can actually just use the ferro ring, teleport right here and you can see actually where the ship is to the north right there and jump over the stone and uh, yeah, now we're here. So this is a way faster way of getting here. I'm only like four kills in and I realized my ring of suffering has like 200 charges left in it for recoils. So I actually got gifted a while ago a lot of sapphire rings by I think it was Max Nick. And so I might as well just enchant some of them and get some charges. Adding 154 of them and now we have almost 6.5k. So that's going to be enough for a very long time. I did not expect to get this lucky with Solandra teleports. I started with 0 and I have 18 now. I guess 17 after using that one. So I haven't really been... Uh forced to use the actual shortcut that I trained so much agility for, but uh, it's nice to have. You're not always going to have Solandra teleports, I guess, because I ran out last time, but uh, this time I'm lucky, which is very nice. And here we go, this is kill number 300 for the account overall, and it's kind of funny, I completed all the uniques on 69 kill count on this boss, but since then I've got zero uniques. So I guess I'm paying for that insane luck that I got at the beginning of the account. And that is kill number 50 on the counter, you can see it right there, and almost exactly on the dot 10,000 scales, which means I'm getting almost exactly 200 scales per kill, which is not that bad, but also in these 10,000 I've gained, I've probably used like 3,500, 4,000 scales, so I do use some with the Serpentine Helmet and the Trident, if I would use a Blowpipe that would be even worse, but uh, I have the Bofardina luckily, which is super nice, but I'm still... I'm probably going to stop the video here. Uh, I'm going to keep doing some Solra, begin the next video with uh, quite a couple of kills. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And also I'm going to keep going on the Chaos Fanatic grind and the Medium Clue grind. It's just something I'm passively going to keep working on. Also, by the way, I am actually almost top 1000 on the Chaos Fanatic kill count. If we actually go here to the uh, side, and that is a bot I actually reported on the top right there. Check the stats. Uh, but here we go. I have 1000 KZ and I'm ranked 1211. So if I keep going a bit more, I am going to be the top 1000 Chaos Fanatic killer with no Odium Shard. Maybe I'll get it soon. But um, for now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see the future uploads. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.